Muscle fatigue is commonplace today. We experience it while exercising, doing yard work, or just trying to catch the train. There are three main reasons why we experience muscle fatigue. Rigorous exercise can cause the muscles to begin breaking down. Biking, running, or even marching can be intense enough to wear us out. A large amount of energy expenditure in a short period of time adds to the effect. Growing up, we were always told to drink our milk. Our parents weren't wrong. We need the calcium not just for our bones, but for our muscles too. The calcium ions play a vital role in the contraction and relaxation of the muscles. The deficiency of calcium hampers the proper functioning of the muscle. In order for the muscle to work, the brain must send a signal ordering it what to do. These signals are transmitted through neurons, which act as the motor unit. After a period of intense use, the nerve begins to decrease the frequency at which it transmits these signals. This is often noticed when the muscle seems to stop responding. Fatigue can be of two types, nervous and metabolic. In nervous fatigue, as mentioned earlier, the signal from the neuron controls the contraction and relaxation of the muscle. When the standard value of the frequency of this signal changes, the functioning of the muscle changes which results in fatigue. Hence, this type of fatigue can be associated with the central nervous system. The second type of fatigue is the metabolic fatigue. This fatigue is due to the improper metabolism within the muscle cell. The metabolites accumulate in the muscle fiber, which results in insufficient supply of energy to the muscle. This further results in fatigue. Fatigue in human body has the following effects. The first is the reduction in efficiency of movements. Due to improper contraction and relaxation of muscles, simple movements that can otherwise be performed efficiently seem difficult. Uh, the simple task of climbing stairs, lifting a shopping bag, etc. may seem difficult and tiresome. The second effect is reduced force generation. The force generated by the muscle is reduced when the muscle is subjected to fatigue. Hence, in order to perform the same task, more force needs to be developed and hence more energy in, is utilized. The third effect of muscle fatigue is the change in the walking pattern. When the muscles of the lower extremity undergo fatigue, the walking pattern of the person changes. For example, the stride of the person reduces and the force exerted on the ground by each leg may vary depending on the amount of fatigue each leg experiences. This video has given a brief explanation about what muscle fatigue is and how it occurs.